I've got some Meyer lemons, so today we're making some lemon curd. Now, if you're not familiar with it, well, it's like a spread or a topping. It's very creamy and just has a wonderful mouthfeel. It's very tart and sweet at the same time. Very intense flavor. So, what do you do with it? Well, you can put it on your toast or you can put it on pancakes. I mean, if you're a lemon lover, you're gonna find many ways to use this because it's so delicious. You can use it in a cake, like make a nice layer of lemon filling in there. Uh, you could put it in your yogurt. I like to do that. Put it in plain yogurt with some granola for a great breakfast. So there's a lot of things you can do with it. And I think you're gonna love the intensity of the flavor and it's way better than anything you'll buy in the store. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What has lemons and 3.14 slices? Lemon pie. We're gonna start off here with our eggs. So I'm gonna place two whole eggs into my large bowl here. In my small bowl here, we're gonna separate our egg yolks from the egg whites. And we're just gonna keep the yolks and you can save the egg whites for, you know, breakfast the next morning or any other dish you wanna add them to. This is the easiest way I have found to separate eggs. You just crack it on the side of the bowl and then just let that egg yolk go right into your hand. And you have no rough edges and it rarely breaks. So you just toss it back and forth to take out the egg whites and then toss the egg yolk into the large bowl. And don't forget, you can find the written recipe below the video in the description area. Once all the eggs are separated and in their bowl, then we will take a whisk and whisk them up good. One thing I really love about this recipe is there are so few ingredients, it's just simple. It's lemon zest, we've got lemon juice, we got eggs, and we have butter. So we wanna prep everything up here so we have our eggs separated. Now I'm gonna do my butter. And what you wanna do here is just cut it into little cubes. That way it'll melt nice and easy when we add it to our mixture. Now we're gonna move on to prepping up our lemons. Now hands down the best lemons you can use are Meyer lemons. So if you can get your hands on some of these, do it. So before we juice the lemons, you're gonna to want to zest them first. It's just easier to zest you know, if they're a whole fruit. So go ahead and do that. And we're only gonna zest two of these because that'll be enough. And you can always go ahead and zest all four of these and save the other two zest and then freeze them for future recipes. Now we can cut our lemons in half and juice up the rest of the lemons. So you can use either a citrus press like I have here, or you can use an electric one, which I tend to use if I'm doing more than one or two lemons, as this makes quick work of this. So by using Meyer lemons, the flavor is noticeably better compared to regular lemons. They taste less acidic and have a nice, sweet, zesty flavor. If you want to find the Meyer lemons, look for them in early winter through early spring. Okay, we've got our three quarters of a cup. We're good to go. You're going to need a double boiler for this recipe, so this is what I've got. So I'm going to pour the lemon juice and the lemon zest into the double boiler, and we're going to mix it with a whisk. All right, we're going to take this over to the stove, and we're going to heat it up over medium heat. It must be time for chef joke number two. Now, why do lemons and limes love to fight? Because they're bitter rivals. Now, while the lemon juice is heating up, we're gonna add some sugar to our eggs. So blend those eggs again, and then we're gonna add a little bit of sugar at a time and just keep blending it until it's all dissolved. Now, once all the sugar is added, now we're gonna temper the eggs, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Tempering the eggs is where we add a little bit of the hot juice to the eggs so that they don't scramble. So we're doing it very gradually. You just wanna drizzle that liquid in there and keep whisking constantly. Don't stop doing that. Okay, so we wanna bring the temperature up slowly in the eggs and then we're gonna add the mixture of the eggs back to the rest of the juice. Now, because I didn't have that much juice to put into the eggs, I put almost all of it in here, and then I just put it back into the double boiler. But usually you'll have a lot more liquid, and so you might just add half of it. But in this case, you know, like you see here, I added almost all of it, and that's okay too. 
So again, the reason we do this is so that the eggs don't scramble. When you, If you just were to add those eggs right into the hot mixture, they would scramble up and you wouldn't be too happy. So here I'm showing you how slow I'm pouring this back into the pan while I whisk constantly. I'm trying to avoid any curdling uh, as I can avoid. So we're going to cook this over medium-low heat until this sauce becomes thick enough to coat the back of a spoon and is nice and thick and creamy. You can see here that it's starting to thicken up, right? And so you're going to want to cook it for about 10 minutes so that you get the eggs nice and cooked. Now, if by some chance you get some clumps or, you know, some curdling in your eggs, you can always run it through a strainer, so don't worry about that. So I ran mine through a strainer because there were little specks of things in the egg. Uh, I didn't have any curdling, but anyway, I just want to show you here that you can do that, and it makes it nice and smooth and creamy. I almost forgot to add the butter, so I'm going to do it now. It's still warm enough to melt it. That's all you really need. So just take your spatula and stir that in and it will melt that butter and make it nice and creamy and silky. Not to mention adding a little buttery flavor. There you have it, some delicious, creamy and flavorful lemon curd that is 100 times better than anything you can buy in the store. And it's so easy to make. Now, stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be making a recipe using this lemon curd that is going to be pretty awesome. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you love lemon, well, then you got to try my creamy lemon ice cream. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to this recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button, all right? And next week, I think we're going to make something using our lemon curd. So stay tuned for that. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.